using a table of values. Okay, so here are my table of values. I just used our basic angles that we have exact values for. Um, you're using a calculator here, so you don't have to use those, but since on your polar graph, the, the measurements they gave you are the, let me go ahead and, I'm labeling in degrees. You are welcome to use radians if you would like. Okay, this would be my 120 and my 135 and my 150. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is label my graph. Notice each circle is 1 for my R, so this would be 1, 2, 3, 4 as far as my circles go. Um, when I get down to here, let's see, um, 210, and then I have my 225, and 240, and 270 down here. Okay, so you start by labeling your graph. Okay, and zero right here. So <clears throat> what we want to do is just substitute the values in. It's just like when we were graphing um, X and Y graphs when we were given values. Now this R should be a lowercase r. Some places you'll see it as a capital R. They just mean the same little r. So we put in a value for theta, and we evaluate to find our value for r. So again, I'm just using a calculator. Um, so I put in cosine of 0 is 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. So I get 3 minus 3 equals 0. So I get the point 0, 0. Okay. If I put in 30 degrees, the cosine of 30 degrees is 0.87 times negative 3 is negative 0.26 about. So I have 3 minus 0 0.26 is 0 0.4. 45 degrees, the cosine of 45 is 0 0.7 times 3 is 2.1. So I have 3 minus 2.1 gives me about 0 0.9. 60 degrees, the cosine of 60 is 0 0.5 times 3 is 1.5. So I have 3 minus 1.5, which is 1.5. When I get to 90, the cosine of 90 is 0 times 3 is 0. <laughs> so I have 3 minus 0 is just 3. 120. So you're going to notice some of these values, they're going to start repeating. Okay. Um, because we know that cosine is the same in this quadrant, just negative numbers. So here the cosine of 120 is negative 0.5. Take that times negative 3, and I get positive 1.5. So here I get 3 plus 1.5, or 4.5. 135. Cosine of 135 is negative 0.7. If I take that times negative 3, I get 2.1. So I get 3 plus 2.1, or 5.1. 150, the cosine of 150 is about 0 0.8, negative 0 0.87 times negative 3 is a positive 2.6. So I have 3 plus 2.6, which is 5.6. And 180, the cosine of 180 is uh, negative 1 times negative 3 is positive 3. So I have 3 plus 3 equals 6. And we could continue here. The cosine of 210 is negative 0.86 times negative 3 is 2.6. So again, we get 3 plus 2.6 or 5.6. And our values really are going to repeat in that quadrant. So the sine of, or excuse me, the cosine of 2.6 Oh, excuse me, of 225 is negative 0.7 times negative 3 is 2.1. Again, we get 3 plus 2.1, which is 5.1. If we keep going, we get 3 plus 1.5, which is 4.5 for our next one. At 270, the cosine of 270 is 0, so we get 3 minus 0, which is 3. 
And again, we're going to end up with some repeating values here. So at 300 degrees, the cosine of 300 is 0.5 times negative 3 is negative 1.5. So we get 3 minus 1.5. Again, we're subtracting here because our cosine values were positive, which gave us a negative number here. At 315, we'd, we would end up with, <clears throat> excuse me, cosine is 0.7, and 0.7 times negative 3 is negative 2.1. So we get 3 minus 2.1 or 0 0.9 and 330 cosine 330 is 0.87 times negative 3 is negative 2.6 3 minus 2.6 is 0.4 okay so I have a set of values here I'm going to go ahead and graph um, 3 minus 3 gave me 0 so here I had the point 0 0 so I open 0 degrees and I go out zero units. <laughs> Here I had the point 30 degrees, point 0.4. So I'd open up to the 30 degree angle and go out point 0.4, which is not quite halfway to that first circle. 45.9. So I open up to the 45 degree angle here and go to point 0.9, so almost to 1. 60 and 1.5. So I open up to 60 degrees and go out to one and a half. 90 degrees and three. So up at 90, I go up to one, two, three. 120, I go to 4.5. So I've opened up to the 120. I go out to one, two, three, four and a half. Clear out here. At 135, I go to 5.1, so I open up to 135. My graph's not big enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.1 would be out here. At 150, I get to 5.6. So here's my 150 degree angle. I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.6. Oh man, this is turning out ugly, isn't it? Alright, next. We had our 180 is at 6. So we open up to 180 and go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so we're out here. We're going to start coming back in now. So at 210, we were at 5.6. So we open all the way up to 210 and go out to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.6. And then at 225, we are at 5.1, so we open all the way up to 225 and go out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5.1. About there ish. Wish my graph hadn't run out. <laughs> 240, we're at 4.5, so we open up to 240 degrees. From the center, we go out 1, 2, 3, 4, and a half. 270, so up and up to 270, we go to 3. So 1, 2, 3 towards our 270 degree angle. Woo, keep going. 300, we're at 1.5. So we open all the way up to 300, about 1.5. Okay, 315, we're at, a, we're at 0.9. So we open up to 315, we go out almost to 1. And at 3.30, we go to 0.4. So we open up to 3.30, 0.4, so not quite half. So you can see we get kind of a rounded heart looking shape. We connect these dots. So then we can clear out to, where were we? And I wish my graph had been big enough. Okay, so that is the shape that we get from 3 minus 3 cosine.